Hello YouTube, so today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a basic blue screen of death program. So essentially what this program does is it will make a full screen blue screen of death that will appear after following a certain amount of sequences. So this is completely configurable, I'll just teach you guys the basics. So you can use this using any version of Visual Basic, for this reason I'll be using Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. So while it's loading, let's make, let's open a new Windows Form application and let's call it blue screen of death prank. Let's open it up. So here, here we are presented with the form one. Let's make this the configuration form. So we come over here and let's first change the text of the form to Bruce in the prank program. I can call this anything you want. This will just be the top where you can configure the title of the screen. Uh, we can not show the icon and it's not shown in the taskbar. You can change these two icons, it doesn't really matter how you prefer. It's just a matter of opinion. You don't need a maximize box. And let's also change the form border style to fix 3D. Alright, that looks pretty respectable. Now let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's change the back color to black. Now let's change the four color to a greenish text. Let's change the font to something interesting. So I'm going to be a bit plain with Times New Roman, but you guys can pick anything you want for the font. Now we want to keep this as compact as possible. So we're back to label. Label. And let's make this just time to launch. So essentially what, how this program will work is you specify a time to launch, and after this time to launch, the, the blue stream death will launch after that specific amount of time. So let's input a text box here where the where the user who's setting up the prank will load up the text box here. And now we can add several options. You can do a media blue screen of death, and you can add different options within here as well. Let's center this here. So now let's change the background color of this. So even though the back color is black, we have to go to system and change it over to control text. Paste this here. And let me paste this here and center this over here. So let's make this um, immediate. Let's make this time based. And let's make this just exit. Now you can add more functions, I'll just, you guys will notice the difference here. Now let's head over and make another Windows form. I just call this just form two, and then in here we're actually gonna take out. We're actually gonna try to make this full screen. So let's change this. Let's just change. Um, hmm. Or is it control box? False. Okay. So let's take an image. So we're gonna put an image of a blue screen of death here. So let's just head over and look for an image. What was the image? How do you put paste? Okay, here's another idea. Which is simply head over here and background image. And here we select an image. So let's over let's head over to my downloads. I probably have something there. Uh let's see. Um hmm. My documents. Downloads. Blue screen, that's perfect. Okay. So this isn't really perfectly sized, so we want to change this accordingly, so let's change this to stretch. Alright, perfect. So now this changes accordingly. And now let's just change form border style to none. And then, just in case, we're going to temporarily make something so it automatically closes. So if the user clicks, it'll close. I'll start click form me dot close. Okay. Let's see how this works. We run it. Perfect. And none of these buttons work yet. So in exit, let's just do me dot close. But before that, let's do a message box that nicely says thank you for using this program. Perfect. 
we do immediate, let's just open up form 2 directly. That's show. Run. Immediate. Perfect. Now, once this loads, we want to uh, meet our maximize. Now, uh, meet our. And now let's just change the state of this. So me dot uh it's open and directly as maximized. So it should be over here. There will be an option. When it starts off, it'll start off as maximized. So Windows State maximize. And this is full screen, which is perfect what we want. And then inside time to launch and time based, then in here, we're going to have to add a timer. Let's make this 1000. Timer 1. And then we do a uh, text box 1.0. Enable the controls, need a hide. And then we do an integer here, so we do count integer zero. And if count equals text box one dot text, then we do form two dot show. Let's try this. It hides. And it should launch. Now the only problem here, okay, wait, time one dot enabled. We forgot to add an incrementer. So count enter, count equals count plus one. Or count plus plus as you would have in other languages. So here it is loading. Okay, so time based timer one dot enable equals true. Timer one intervals make this one just for the purpose of this video. And perfect, it works. So now here you can adjust the timing if you want. Ten. Now you could make something else inside form two. You can make it do specific rings, for example, make a beep or something else. That can be expanded by your own. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. And this is essentially a Lucium death prank. So you could change it so that once you click it, it doesn't actually close it. And you have to enter a specific amount of characters to close this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.